In this video, I will show you how you can restore the system image that you created earlier using Clonezilla to your hard drive. I'll be using this portable hard drive where I have stored my system image. From there, I will back up, uh, restore the backup set to accept the default setting like you did with the system image creation process and after certain steps uh, the place where you created the option was there to create the system image you will have the option to restore will come you just need to wait and finally uh, an option will come which you need to accept can see now clonezilla is starting and here just like you accepted english or you can accept depending the language as per your choice for me it's english don't touch key map same like you did while creating the system image start clonezilla live yes work with disk or partition yes I had used the option this option to create the system image yes this one too now I'll use the local device yeah I can accept this Right now it's getting the information about the various partitions and after this you can go ahead with the restoration process of your system image to your hard drive. Yes. As uh, here you have to mount the source for me it is this one from here I will be restoring the image okay and that this directory this is the top directory here I've saved my image center to continue mm, beginner yes now restore disk if you were creating a uh, system image backup you had to, you would have to use one of these uh, options from these two options now you are restoring I'm restoring the whole disk so I will use this if I was just restoring a partition I would have gone with this option so I choose restore disk and these are the 
image backup I have the system image backup I want that which I created um, just today just some time back in the previous video so I select this and hit enter now you see the restoration process will begin yeah this is the target device a thousand gb my hard drive you can see all data on the entire disk will be lost and replaced because i am uh, doing a disk uh, system image recovery if it was a partition it would have just recovered the selected partition okay so here i start because i want to recover my whole system disk the screen that will come for restoration will be similar to the system image creation process it will take quite some time you can just start the restoration and go and do some other work of yours or just wait and watch see here you can see now the following step is to restore an image to the hard disk partition on this machine this is the address of the restoration image and these are the various partitions that will be restored so everything in these partitions will be formatted and and replaced with those uh, backup from the system image so all this SDA, SDA1, SDA2, 3, 4, 6 all these are various partitions in my hard drive and you can see the existing data in this hard disk partition will be overwritten all existence data existing data will be lost okay so these are the various information and uh, my two main partitions are sda4 which is the c drive sda6 is where, where i keep my backups other backups not the system image are you sure you want to continue yes select y and press enter select y and press enter okay let's do it as it says shutting down the logical volume manager all this information starts coming Yeah, now the system image restoration process has started. So all the small partitions will be immediately restored. It won't take much time but the big one that is going to take quite some time this is also a small one 2.9 GB this is uh, partition contains the uh, system restore option for my Dell laptop uh, system recovery option you know that you get uh, shipped with uh, your laptop by default And this can be used for any any system doesn't matter it is Linux or Windows uh, because everything is being done from the USB or the DVD that you will be using to uh, create a system image or restore it has got nothing to do with your OS so you can use it for anything it's free 
and it's awesome. So these all are the big chunks, the big partitions. This will take quite some time. So this is the process and I will show you the end result once the restoration process is over. Hope this helps guys. Okay, so this is the screen once the restoration is done. I'm gonna have a look. I mean, these all are the kind of logs that has been done. You can see, and I'll just press enter to continue. And I'll turn it off. You can see now it's turned off. system is done off and the restoration has been done.